Hello, everyone, and welcome to Tuesday, July 4th, afternoon session trading. We are resettlement to Asia. It's really Wednesday, July 5th trading. Um, my name is Reese, and we're going to be using the models of ICT, or Michael Huddleston. We are trading on a simulated account, uh, which I paid for from a company called Top Step Trader based out of Chicago, Chicago Board of Trade Building. And we're going to be trading the NASDAQ today. Required SEC, CFTC, and legal disclaimers. Uh, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Trading futures involves substantial risk of loss, including more than you initially invest. Um, do not trade uh, more than you can afford to lose. Simulated trading, which this is, may not represent uh, periods of illiquidity in the market. Required legal disc disclaimer, I'm a licensed attorney in the state of Texas. Um, none of the following should be interpreted as a solicitation for legal services. It is not. Anything expressed in this video are solely the opinions of the speaker. Do not represent the opinions of any law firm, professional corporation, professional limited liability company, anyone other than me. Um, I'm going to give a welcome to my Russian speaking audience and to my German speaking audience. Всем привет. Добро пожаловать на мой канал. Я приветствую вас. Сейчас мы трейд по фьючерс на NASDAQ. Мы используем трейдинг модулс Майкл Хэдлстон и кроме Inner Circle Trader. А может быть, я бы стремил а, на русском языке будущее. Не знаю. Um, hello, Ale. Willkommen bei mir. Uh, mein Deutsch ist jetzt nicht so gut wie mein Russisch, aber ich hoffe, dass uh, wenn Sie alle eine Frage stellen wollen, können Sie bitte es nur auf Deutsch? Ich kann äh, besser Deutsch lesen, als ich äh, sprechen kann. So, bitte äh, versuchen Sie nur auf Deutsch, wenn Sie Deutsch sind, äh, im Comment-Box zu schreiben. So, kaufen jetzt eins. Alright guys, we're going to get started uh, with one contract long. Our entry is going to, you know, we're going to aim for this wick inefficiency down here if we can get that. Um, we were long earlier, and then I had to stop out the position, and it was, you know, unfortunate. So, guys, we're going to be pyramiding into a position. I've made videos on cost averaging and on other things. So the models that we're using right now include ICT uh, breakers, wick inefficiencies. I'm going to be sticking right now to the five minute time frame. I'm looking for the market to come back down and get our first entry in here on this wick inefficiency. So you see that kind of, you know, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking for here, I'm looking for this, right? I'm looking for price to come and curl back down to uh, wick inefficiency and then put on contract number one there. So that that is the first contract. Um, for in terms of our profit targets, we're looking at a quarter standard deviation, a half, and one. This ICT bullish breaker. So ideally, what I'd like price to come do is come tag this wick inefficiency, and then we start to work our way higher. I welcome you to my channel. I know that many of you want me to live stream, and uh, I just don't want to do it right now. 
Sorry. So, I am going to try and not scream at the camera so much, though. Sorry, I get worked up. Guys, uh, I wanted to show y'all something. Um, this is my profit target for the day. You can see it's just shy of funding, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that is my profit target today. So that's kind of what I'm aiming for. It's my profit limit for today. Got a long time to go. We got a lot of trading to do between today and tomorrow. We just got, we're just starting on resettlement. Probably going to let the runtime of this video go for an hour and a half. Maybe, uh, so resettlement to pre Asia. So we're looking to scale into a long here. Uh, we're currently flat, but we're looking to uh, get net long. Looking for 50% of the wick inefficiency that we just made. So I'd like to see price come curl back down, tag me, and then start working up. That's kind of the ideal scenario right now. Um, it could just run without me, in which case, um, you know, we'll see if we get up to our liquidity targets. We'll see if we get another entry mechanism. At this point, this is the only entry mechanism that I'm seeing here. Okay, this is wick inefficiency. Uh, I'm not seeing anything else in terms of an entry mechanism right now. I do believe that the market is reaching for higher at the moment using this ICT bullish breaker that gives us our standard deviation targets. We do have buy side liquidity, which I don't think we're going to reach for a few hours. So maybe not until Asia do we get up there. So. Uh, we're looking to take it one contract at a time, pyramid into a position using um, different PD arrays. Right now, it's trading efficiently. So, that's what it's doing. It's Red Bull. Red Bull. Okay. Guys, I'm probably going to listen to some music now. Um, it's going to be a long night. We have a lot of work to do. We took losses yesterday. We were not uh, scaling into a position and, and all that stuff. So, <sighs> kind of fucked up yesterday.
Okay, guys, there's not, you know, a whole lot about which I can commentate at the moment, but we do have this here. So there's a bissy that... It's an undelivered portion of that. Okay, this might run without us, uh, and I'm, I'm just not going to put on a contract without a PD array that I am comfortable with. I'm comfortable with this WIC inefficiency. There's nothing here. There's a volume imbalance that could invert right here at price, right there. Volume imbalances are not, um, in my opinion, the best PD array. They're not, the, they're not really an inefficiency that I see price react react off of very much so they're not my favorite PD array um, I'm a big fan of breakers order blocks um, standard deviation projections volume imbalances are not my favorite I'm obviously I'm aware of them we do have one here they could act you know to bring price back down to my entry Waiting to see if price comes down. So the purpose of this channel is to video my attempted journey into professional day trading. Um, it might not always be the most entertaining channel. Sometimes it will be. Uh, it is what it is. You know, the market, sometimes it gives you and sometimes it does not.
Okay, um, it does not look at this point like we are going to get that buy limit entry. So we're probably going to have to start scaling in um, to this long uh, higher. I am still not really seeing where I would do that. I'm trying to stick to the five minute chart. Now some dumb 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 asked me if I have ever used lower than a five minute chart. Give me a break guy, come on. I didn't answer you because it's uh, a stupid question. That's why. Got that volume imbalance here that did invert. Um, but I don't really want to chase the market and I'm not seeing really nothing here. Nothing, nothing here for me to want to uh, enter. Watching the NASDAQ September delivery contract. The time is 1817, just after resettlement. Wednesday, July 5th. Wednesday, July 5th trading. It is July 4th now. Uh, we are on electronic trading hours on the right, as this is not uh, regular trading hours trading. We are implying we are applying the models of Michael Huddleston, inner circle trader. We have a low, high. Lower low. It's a bullish breaker. This was also a bullish breaker. This is a wick inefficiency, inefficiency here. Wick inefficiency here. I want to see price curl back to it, and that's where I would want to get long. Curl back to this inefficiency, get long. That's kind of the thinking. Now, price is not indicating to me that it wants to do that right now. So, uh, so we're flat. We're flat. Trying to get net long.
Y'all gotta go watch my Vinny E mini rant. It's good. I think.
All right, well, it's coming back down to our buy limit, wick inefficiency. We're listening to, guys, I, I don't really have a lot to talk about. I'm sorry. Like, I wish I did. I'm listening to some German techno. Coming down, 
Uh, I'm looking to get filled long here. I have no other like entry mechanism right now to get long, right? Nothing. So I want to see something before I put on a contract. You know, I got to see something. And this is the only thing I'm seeing. I do believe that the market is in for higher. Right now, I think the market is going to end up reaching up into our buy side liquidity um, before, you know, eventually coming to our sell side liquidity. Now, why do I think that? Well, because we have low, high, lower, low. That is a ICT uh, bullish breaker. That's why. So, we will see. We're just sitting waiting to see if our first contract can come on. It's kind of making you think it doesn't want to pop lower. We'll see. I'm reading the um, Top Step Discord. A lot of nonsense. Bunch of people talking about other funding companies. Um, obviously, I'm partnered with Top Step, so uh, my mind is pretty made up, right? Yep, I'm a company man now. I hate saying that. Uh, company man. Kind of. Not really. Kind of. A company man. Not really. Yeah, so I mean you can see uh, in terms of price is fractal, right? So this is what I, I want to see it do that. Kind of did it there. That's kind of what I'm looking for. See if we can get that. So we get to come down. This is inefficient here. So price should be interested drawing into this wick inefficiency, and then I want to see it act as support and uh, get up higher. So, um, you know, we'll see if that comes in. We're going to take this one contract at a time. Uh, I'm going to step away from the camera. Um, this will, you know, guys, a lot of you are going to be like, every video is going to sometimes, you know, sometimes it's going to be exciting. Sometimes it's not. So nothing I can do about that. Uh, I told you, I told you in this video why the buy limit is there, what I'm looking for why I'm using my standard deviation projections higher. And that idea, you know, really has just stayed, right? Price action has not changed. So if we were in a different session right now, it would, you know, move quicker. I'll be back.
dreckig und versaut. Los, los. Oh, we're long. Hey. All right. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording there, uh, start up a new one.